So overall, we are starting to get clients that I didn't believe we could get by ourselves. I am really good at leading a company. I am very good at doing technical things, but cold calling and sales is not my forte. So therefore with Arsenal, we're reaching people that we didn't think we would be able to. And, uh, and it's been very beneficial on our side. My name is Adam Van Meter. I am with Van Crew Technologies. I am the CEO and I've been with Arsenal for about four to five months. So we actually were doing some searches on Google and found you guys. So we were having some trouble with getting um, sales. We were going solely off of um, referrals from our clients. We tried email marketing and that went absolutely nowhere. We sent three, 400 emails and got zero responses back. And we saw you guys that, well, Arsenal, we found Arsenal that was able to call clients and had the expertise uh, to call clients and get more people in. Van Crew is a, um, we're, right now we're smaller, we're growing large, and we did go through and add some terms in there for our sake. Signing a 12 month term for us was a little scary at first. Now that we're in it, it doesn't seem as scary, but we wanted to put some terms in there just in case for our, our sake, since we're smaller. So overall, we are starting to get clients that I didn't believe we could get by ourselves. I am really good at leading a company. I am very good at doing technical things, but cold calling and sales is not my forte. So therefore with Arsenal, we're reaching people that we didn't think we would be able to, and, uh, and it's been very beneficial on our side. So coming into Arsenal, um, I didn't have, I don't have much sales experience. I've been in different companies doing technical things. Sales was not my forte. So being able to one, depend on someone to reach out to different clients and two, to ask questions. So someone that has been there doing the sales process, hey, you might want to do this. Hey, you might want to charge this. Hey, you might not want to charge this has been for me a lifesaver because I didn't know half the things out there that Arsenal has been able to teach me and say, hey, here's some consulting on how to get sales. And that's been really beneficial to me. Strong part of Arsenal is to reach different clients uh, that I wouldn't be able to get before. Um, they're not afraid to reach out even larger, small companies. Uh, they're not, they, they're able to um, speak languages of the people uh, they're communicating with uh, in a sales perspective that I might not have, and then give me uh, advice on how to win the deal. It's been helpful for me. Absolutely not. Um, I, before I started with Arsenal, I had 300 people I emailed and I got zero responses. Uh, I do networking events. I do all these things. How many sales I got from them? Probably nothing. With Arsenal, cold calling, probably 30 people a day has actually got some results where I'm actually talking to people weekly. So uh, we treat uh, Joe, who works with us, um, as a part of their team. He, I, I feel like he's part of an employee. We treat him like an employee. We ask him questions. He answers the questions that we have. He pre preps us for our meetings, our one-on-ones with our clients, letting us know what is going on before I walk in the door. I should expect this. Uh, pricing, expect this. Walking in, which helps me kind of seal the deal when I walk in the door of the client. So we were solely dependent on other competitors' pricing we would get it from a client and we would look through their pricing and kind of do our pricing based on that. With 
Joe with Arsenal was able to go in and look at that and says, you know what, here's a couple of things I'm seeing that's working. Uh, and we were able to switch our pricing based on that and it's been very successful. So before Arsenal, we were going out to the customer site and talking with them, but there was no contract whatsoever. Uh, Joe suggested that he's seen a lot of success with actually having something uh, in hand for the client to look at uh, before we go out there. Um, we had to think hard on how to do that, but we were able to come up with a general contract for everyone. Now, generally, we go out there, they might want something different that's off the contract. We we will talk to the client later about what we need to add, but having the contract in hand uh, has really helped the clients see where we came from. It brings um, honesty that here is what we offer. Here's our terms up front instead of them guessing. And it's leading to more people signing than not having one because the sales process would have taken two weeks compared to a couple of days. So after we're done with the initial meeting with the client, um, Joe's pretty good about reaching out and say, how did it go? What do I need to do? And so I'd be there to follow up with the email or a phone call. Uh, Joe's better at the follow up than I am. And so Joe will take all the points I, I was given or any kind of sales information that is needed, and he will follow up with the client and, and making sure that we get them what they need and that we're not missing out on the sale by it taking too long. So, so far, uh, we are just getting started with Arsenal. Uh, we did do a 12-month agreement. We are probably five months within that agreement. And so far, I've been seeing at least at least one to two clients a week compared to uh, struggling trying to find one uh, a quarter. Uh, right now, it's 2500 but it's hourly, so it depends on what the client needs. It seems like the client needs uh, more time with us, so it might go over that. So this client, we walked in. And um, their current IT provider is actually leaving the market. And they needed to find someone fast. And Arsenal called just at the right time for that person to go, you know what, I know that my IT provider is leaving. You called at the right time. Is there any way you could bring in Van Crew uh, to talk with us? We had an initial meeting. Uh, Per Joe's request, we had our contract in hand and we had our pricing the way he suggested it. Walked in with her, was able to beat the competitor that she was looking at. And then our knowledge was up there as well uh, over the other uh, MSP that was trying to do sales with them as well. And uh, thankfully, Joe was able to follow up with her several times and we were able to seal the deal. So we have one in the bag. Um, we have several that we're talking to. I can't wait to get more in the bag. Um, so we have several that, like I said earlier, I don't think we would be able to get unless we had Arsenal on our side. They were able to cold call and be able to find more that I wouldn't even thought of to call that needed our help. So we can't we can't wait to get more in the bag. Uh, we got the one, and we're uh, looking itching to get uh, some more. But we're talking weekly to multiple clients. It's not it's going to happen pretty soon. Currently, with Arsenal's help um, with Joe, Joe has reached out to several, and right now we have eleven five in the pipeline um, with uh, current clients that we're going to see currently. Uh, hopefully the, all those work out and uh, we'll, we'll see where we go. Right now we're in the beginning stages. So I, I know with the pipeline, definitely worth it. But again, we got our first sale in the bag. Um, we are very confident that if we get more, definitely you guys will be uh, profitable for us. 
we have wouldn't be able to touch the people we the clients we have without you guys once we get these in the bag definitely worth the, the money so we did have someone that was doing this for us um that we found that didn't have the right expertise and we were paying them a certain amount a month with arsenal uh, we found that you have several people with their expertise with that i can ask questions uh that you have you work with other msps that you've seen successful that you've seen their pricing that you've seen what they can do and our rep alone the biggest thing that i could find is that he's actually consulting for us to tell us what exactly we need to do to be successful with our clients and that has helped greatly that's probably i would pay for that <laughs> uh, alone uh the cold calling is great I'm, I'm horrible at that, but if you, the expertise alone of what I need to be doing, what I need to have in my hand, what I need to be saying to the client has helped greatly. Honestly, you're the first that I heard that did this, and I was very excited that you you uh, were able to work with people in their, their in certain states, in their certain counties. I didn't even look at the competition, to be honest with you, because I liked what you did. I haven't heard of what arsenal does before i haven't heard that with other competitors uh the pricing was right the expertise was right i didn't even look at the competitive competitors to be honest so it depends on the day mostly i prefer personal meetings because i'm able to see what they have at their site i'm able to talk with that person i'm able to see other things with that personal that you wouldn't get from virtual now it's been the on the flip side there's been some uh advantages of virtual so the client is out of town a lot i'm able to actually get in front of them faster is the virtual and then if uh joe sends me a lot of clients then it's really good that i can see three people in a day instead of like two or one so that's the there's pros and cons to both and so those are my, those are them so what you could do better is someone like me that is great at being technical i've led several companies with security and it biggest thing for me is almost holding my hand uh, through some of this like um here's your pricing what sh it should look like here's how we go in there going in there with um why don't you say this instead of that I think some, uh, I need a little more hand holding than the other guy does. So um, if there's a way that you come in and say, here's what to expect, here's how you get more sales, here's some things that you might say instead of something else would greatly help me when I'm walking in. If we get the clients that you've put in front of me, we've definitely on pace for what we put in our contract. Right now, if we get all the clients, or at least half the clients that you put in front of me, we're definitely uh, on pace. So my expectations at first, when we first started out, um, he said that it might be a little bit to get your name out there. So our first month, we didn't see anything. We didn't see anything at all. Second month, uh, one or two. Third month, it's starting to ramp up. So if the expectations at first were kind of, oh no, what's going to go on? We're not getting anything at all. Our first month, we saw nothing. Just because there's some ramp up period. Now we're on month five and I'm getting two or three a month, I mean, through two or three a week, honestly. And so my expectations is to keep that up, is to have two or three a week that we can go see the clients. So Van Crew, uh, we chose to do revenue sharing we really wanted to motivate our salesperson. We really want to be out there. And we felt that if they had motivation that we would get more sales from that person. And that's why we did revenue sharing. We plan to stick with Arsenal uh, as our sales team. I don't plan on bringing in sales internally anytime soon. 
we want to really focus on building the core business, which is security and IT. We hope to hire more people to do the security and IT. We're actually with the couple sale, the one sale we've got, we're actually thinking about hiring another person and we hope to continue that. So hopefully in the future, um, Joe is our person and he is bringing in at least three client meetings a week. We hope that continues and we just keep growing with what bro Joe is bringing in. So what advice I would give is knowing that at first you will probably get no clients coming in because the person at Arsenal needs to look at your current location and start spreading your name to everyone. And then just note that the sales will be coming later. If you're expecting three client meetings a week, first month, it's probably not going to happen, especially for us. It did not happen. Going forward, we're starting to see more traction with clients and I hope it continues. Uh, so we're just right now we're getting at least two to three a week and I hope that it continues. So I would recommend ex uh, Arsenal for several reasons. One, uh, they're able to cold call, which I am not good at. And two, the expertise. I was, I am not an expert in sales. I'm an expert in other areas. And I would prefer to outsource that to someone that knows what they're doing instead of me trying to figure it out. Here at Van Crew, we are really excited to work with uh, Arsenal going forward. We're really excited about what you brought us so far. We look forward to more the sales, help with the sales, get us where we need to be. Thank you, Joe. Joe works for us. Thank you, Joe, for all you've done. Thank you for the two to three clients that we're starting to get a week. Keep it up. We are very excited going forward, and we will hope that to grow with your help, and I know you'll grow with us.